Tonight is my wedding night with him. I married a vegetable who is dying soon. I feel like Miss Edson has no much time left. Yeah, she just got married and become a widow. Shh. You and your mom lived on me. Now it is time for you to repay me. Although Bernard is a vegetative person, don't worry. Their family is rich. You won't suffer after you marry him, huh? Uncle Campbell, I don't want to get married. Please don't marry me off. <laughs> Let me make it clear to you. I've accepted the bride price from the Addisons. You're going to get married whether you want to or not. If Addison's not a vegetative person, you won't have the chance to be Mrs. Addison. But not Edison. If only you could wake up. Clara, after you finish breakfast, I'll let the housekeeper take you to the hospital for a checkup. Okay, Grandma. Let's have a meal. Right. I think Bernard doesn't have much time left. I want Clara to give birth to a child for Bernard. I've already contacted an IVF specialist. Take a little later. Remember, don't let the cat out of the bag. Doctor, Mrs. Edison will slide on his examination bed first. Okay. Doctor, do you treat infertility? Sort of. Um, my husband is a vegetative patient. He doesn't need to have a baby. I was not to do. We still need to do the test. After all, the Edison has already paid for it. Mrs. Edison, please slide on. All right. Who are you? You... Huh? You're the new housekeeper, right? Um... I... I... Bernard, you are awake. You are finally awake. You are finally awake. I knew you would definitely wake up. Emma. How long have I been asleep? You've been asleep for almost a year. A year? I can't believe I slept so long. Grandma, did anything big happen in our family? Something big? Here, I found you a wife. Is this a big deal? A wife? I don't want a wife. Let her go. Bernard! It's been over a month since Clara's here. She scrubbed your body every day without her care. You couldn't have recovered so well. You two should get along first. If you really don't like her, then just break up, okay? Okay then. Clara, call me when you and Bernard get home. Inform you as they arrive, and come home often to visit me when you have time. Okay, Grandma. Go on. Grandma, take good care. Go on, go on. You can divorce me anytime, if you don't like me. Do you want to divorce me that badly? Or are you trying to play hard to get trick on me? No, I'm not. I just said that you don't want to talk to me. I thought you are not happy with me. Was it about you? That was so pleasing. Ah. Let's go.
I live on the second floor. You're not allowed up there. You're not allowed in my room either. If you disobey my order, I will punish you. I swear, I'll be on my best behavior in your house. Maiden, I'll take you to your room. Oh, all right. Come on, Bernard. I wish you new life. Let's toast to Bernard. Last cheers. 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 Come on. Are you new here? I haven't seen you before. So pretty. Come, have a drink with me. I can't drink. You can't work here if you can't drink. Are you sure you can't drink? Oh, you do not want to. It's okay. I will teach you drink. But not help me. Beach, how dare you call Bernard's name? Apologize to Bernard. So you have been eyeing Bernard ever since you came in. No wonder you don't want to want to ask you to. Bernard is the same one you can lay your finger on. <laughs> now you can drink. Come on, we're more safe. Harvey, help me. What did you say, Harvey? Who's your Harvey here? Come upon it, Dot. Let everyone take a look. Damn woman, you'd better kneel down for Bernard. Make three toast. Who else? Your hobby and won't be able to save you. <laughs> One more save. Get lost. Did you hear Bernard? He's asking you to get lost. I said you get lost. Bernard. We're leaving Bernard. What a surprise. My wife, Clara Alexandra. <laughs> Turned out to be an escort. I'm not an escort. <laughs> You're not an escort. What are you? You hadn't shown up tonight. You'd already been escorting, wouldn't you? <laughs> My grandma knew you were an escort. No, I'm not. I'm not an escort. You're not an escort. Then what are you? Tell me. I won't study abroad, but my stepfather won't lend me any money. I have to work on the money so I can get away from my stepfather. So what are you? Say it. I'm short of money. That's why I. Money. How much do you need? Tell me all at once. I hope you for it. By you tonight. Yes, so I'm not for sale. Pretending to be pure. Keep pretending. Let go of me. Let go of me. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know someone's here. Get up. Put your clothes back on. Why did you stop? I found someone. Like you dirty. From now on. You are not allowed to leave the house. You want to put me under arrest? Who else? Letting you out to cook at me? Ah! Clara, when I'm done here, we'll get a divorce. Let's just do it today. Did you hear what I just said? Yes, we did. We'll never let Madam leave the house.
Hello? Hey, Clara. I heard Bernard's back to normal. Congratulations. Hey, Clara. I want his commitment for you. I'd like to invite Bernard to my house. I have a project in mind. I want him to invest some money in it. I won't bring him back. I'm about to divorce him. What? You useless bastards. Can't even keep a man. Let me tell you, if Bernard divorced you, don't you ever come back to the Campbells. Even if I die of poverty, I won't go back to the Campbells. <coughs> <coughs> Mr. Edison, Mrs. Edison, doesn't need any sword day. If she doesn't need, just let her study. Oh, sir. Grandma sent this over. Fresh caverns. She made them herself. Okay, let me try it. Oh, I'm starving. Mm. <laughs> Pick it up. Eat it up. Got the food inside. Clara, don't force me to beat you. Pick it up. Finish it. Madden, why are you sleeping here? Madden, Madden, Madden! Oops! Sir, come over! Something's happened to Madden! I can't wake her up! Is she dead? What happened to her? I don't know! I just finished cleaning up in the kitchen! I came over and I saw her lying still! Clara! Clara, wake up! Guard! Get a car to the hospital! Doctor, how's my wife? She was fine. Why is she suddenly unconscious? Your wife went into shock. Luckily, you got her to the hospital in time. Shock? How did she go into shock? My housekeeper said she hasn't eaten anything all day. Did she pass out from hunger? Are you her husband? Your wife experienced an anaphylactic shock due to a food allergy. Food allergy? She only ate one crab bun today. Not everyone can eat crab. Clara, why didn't you tell me you couldn't eat crab? I said I wouldn't eat it, but you forced me to. I'm sorry. Because my grandma made it, I saw you wasting it. That's why I was so angry. Bernard, are you always so superior and don't listen to others' explanations? Clara. I have already apologized to you. Don't push your luck. Get out of here. I don't want to see you. All right. Congratulations, sir. Your wife is pregnant. You're going to be a father too. Clara. I've never even touched you. How did you get pregnant? Where did you get that bastard? How did it happen? Have you mistaken? This is not my child. Miss Alexander, there's no way this is a mistake. You're really pregnant. Don't you feel anything? 
have been feeling nauseous lately. Am I really pregnant? How can this be? I've never slept with a man. Clara, you're really shameless. <gasps> you cheated on me and had a chat with other men. Doctor, read your surgery. Get rid of that bastard in her. No, Bernard, I beg you, you can't divorce me, but please don't kill my baby. <laughs> Clara, are you thinking of divorcing me? And take this bastard in you to return to the lover of yours? <laughs> I don't even know whom the baby belongs to. True. You are drinking and serve so many men every day. Of course you wouldn't know who the baby belongs to. But not that is, since we are getting divorced. My business is none of your concern. Whether I get along or give birth to the child of another man, none of these are of your concern. Fine. Hey, Clara. From now on, worse. I won't care about you anymore. Clara. What are you doing? You shameless woman. No wonder Bernard wants a device. Turns out you have the illegitimate child. Who does this child belong to? How dare you hear me? I've already announced that I won't be returning to the campus. You're not my father. My business is not your concern. Hey, how dare you talk back? I'll beat you to death. Enough. This is a hospital. What's your actions? I'm not going to recognize her as my daughter. Clara, I just want to know one thing. Who does the baby belong to? Mom. I don't know. In that case, just get a abortion. You can't let this baby ruin your life. I won't get abortion. I'm giving birth to this child. Only by doing so, will I know the baby's father is. Mom, don't make it difficult for me. You are already stubborn, Clara. Don't you know the consequences of giving birth to this child? If you insist, then give birth to it. This is all that I have. Take it and go abroad. Mom, I don't want it. <laughs> Clara, you are my only daughter. Remember, there's no mad word. I always love you. Mom! Eden, this will be our home from now on. Come on, let's go in. Boss, I managed to get in touch with Derek, the president and assistant of God City Group. He said he will help us pass our message to his boss. Good. We must strike the partnership with the God City Group. It's crucial to our future projects. But, mm. Derek said his boss will be returning today. If we want to arrange a meeting with her, he will have to wait for a couple more days. What is the name of his boss? I'm not sure. I only know that the boss is a woman. Hey? Boss, you a handsome man. You can just try to woo her with your looks and then we can... <laughs> What's going on in that brain of yours every day? You must have read too many romance novels. Yeah, just a little. Okay, boss.
Hello. Nice to meet you. You must be the president of the Good City Group. I'm Bernard Edson. Clara. You seem to be surprised, Miss Edson. I guess you didn't expect to see me again. You're right. Who would have thought to run into ex-wife on business? Stop bringing up the past. Let's get to the point. Sure. I want to buy over the Gold City Group. I'm not selling it. Clara, don't push your luck. If you refuse my offer. I would just have to do it in the hard way. I'm not going to go easy on you just because you're my ex-wife. After all, an ex-wife had an affair. It's only minors. Bernard Edison, I was afraid of you six years ago. Do you think I've been now? If you want to take me on, just come and me. Clara Alexander, don't regret what you just said. Mommy always look at this man's photo. Could he be my dad? <laughs> He abandoned me and mom. I'm gonna teach him a lesson. Hello, hello, Mr. Edison. Our company's network has been hacked. The whole company's network is down. Got it. I'll be right back. What's the situation, Mr. Edison? This hacker might have a grudge against you. A grudge? What do you mean by that? Check this out. I've been single for years. How could this happen? Could it be Clara? Mr. Edison. Are you talking about your ex-wife? Yes, she's the boss of Good City Group. I just met her. She turned down my offer. That's too much of a coincidence. What do we do now? Let's wait until the network's back. Okay. The tech department is doing their best to fix it. The company is now facing a total shutdown. The economic damage caused is inestimable. Clara Alexandra. You better not have anything to do with this. Otherwise, I will set old new scores with you. Ethan, here, mommy bought you lots of goodies. Hmm? Did you have fun today, Mr. Addison? Is the network all fixed? Yes, it's fixed. However, we have lost a lot of important files. Could it be? Do whatever it takes to take that hacker. Yes. What's the matter, Mr. Addison? We've located the hacker. Don't alert the enemy. I'll be right there with my man. Okay. Let's see where you are. Ethan, mommy's going to work. Be good at home. <laughs> I'm going. See you. William, are you sure the hacker lives here? Yes, I'm certain. Let's go. Ethan, stay right here. I'll see who it is. Who are you? Step aside. 
Hey, what are you doing? Who are you guys? My boss has gone to work. It's just me and Young Master too. Mr. Edison, this laptop looks suspicious. It's most likely used by a hacker. Huh? This is my Young Master's laptop. What hacker? This is nonsense. Is this your laptop? Mm. My company was hacked yesterday. Did you do it, buddy? You better think clearly before answering my question. Sir, he is only five. How could he possibly? Why did you do it? Who is your mommy? <laughs> you brat. Call your boss right away. Tell her to come home immediately. Otherwise, I'll kill this brat. Abby, what's wrong? A group of people came to the house. Said the user has hacked their company. They are very fools. I'll be right back. Turn around. <laughs> Don't touch my stuff, Isa. Isa, are you okay, Isa? Clara Alexandra, is he the bastard you had six years ago? He's my son, not a bastard. You were too harsh, even for a child. If anything happens to him. I will never forgive you. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I don't want this to get out. Mr. Edison, don't blame yourself. This is not our fault. It's Clara Alexandra's son started it. Her son is only five years old. Are you sure that he hacked our company? But he admitted it. He didn't say a word. He nodded. If this kid really did it, the whole network technology team now could kill their positions. A bunch of losers. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Edison, calm down. This kid is not that ordinary. Who has a kid who can play on computer at age of five? I think your ex-wife is behind this. I had no connection with Clara since six years ago. Besides, I didn't do anything wrong to Clara six years ago. That's strange. Why don't you ask her son yourself when he recovers? Besides, I think his son is mute. The reason I divorced Clara. This bastard, Miss Alexandra. Your son suffered a lot of blood loss, so he is in a state of unconsciousness. But the city result of the head of fine. Let him have a rest and do not get injured again. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Miss, nothing can happen to you. I can't afford to lose you. Wake up soon. <coughs> Lara Alexandra, Lara Alexandra, get out here and meet me. Hello, may I ask who you are? How do you get up here? I'm Clara Alexandra's brother. Nobody can stop me. If I want to come up here, you can come in. Yeah, right. You seem like a smart guy. When we. The combos were at our peak. We were much more powerful than the Gold City Group. Hey, what's your position at the Gold City Group? I'm Miss Alexandra's assistant. 
I see. I don't think that I left money for you a month, right? Clara Alexandra is now a decent woman. This company will be ruined sooner or later. But if you help me, can feel lots of money. Contact me when you've thought it over. You have better prospects with me than with Clara Alexandra. Is this all right? The doctor checked him out this morning and said he was fine. That's great. Clara, let's get used to the afternoon by courier. Oh. What's wrong? What's written on it? Eddie, please tell me and let me talk to Ethan. Oh, all right. Ethan, I knew you had great skill with computers, but I never thought you'd learn to hack on the side. How do you know about Bernard Edison? Why would you mess with him? Ethan, don't ignore me. I can't watch you go astray. I saw you sneaking a peek at his picture. <sighs> I did search for news about him. I was married to him. However, Ethan, also I had a bad time with him. That's all my business. It has nothing to do with you. You shouldn't do this behind me, okay? Sorry, Mom. It's all right. Goodbye. I know you understand everything. You just don't like to talk. Mm. Mom, I'll be good for now. Oh, all right. Your son is out of the hospital. Yes, Clara Alexandra. Although I don't like to explain, I think it's better to make things clear. I didn't mean to hurt you, son. I am not a bully either. He beat me at the time. Fine. Whether you do or didn't do on purpose, it's a fact that my son was injured and hospitalized. I'm here today to solve this issue with you. You're claiming two hundred million dollars from me. Isn't that crazy? Since you want to free me, fine. I'll show you for my son's psychological composition. So, what do you want to do? My son says. The lost date can be recovered. If the lost date has been recovered, I won't come after you for psychological compensation. You can't come after me either. All right. Your son is so great. Who teaches him this? The homewrecker. It's none of the business. Clara Alexandra, you still won't tell me. Who is the homewrecker? You are that guy, but I won't tell you. Go ahead and cut yourself. Don't you have anything to say to me? Express myself. Fine. Let's not talk about it. Okay. Let's talk about you. You're getting older. Are you married? Do you have children? Or bastard? Do you have to speak in such a sarcastic way? Why? Haven't you always been this pushy? It's okay for you to do that to me, but you can't stand this. And I do it to you. Not married, no children, and no bastards. Okay, but I've heard that once a man is over age of thirty-five, the quality of their sperm is not so good. You have to be careful when the time comes. Baby won't be so smart. You're cursing me. No, I'm just giving a friendly reminder. I thank you for that. You're welcome. Well, um, yes, got it in. We'll have a top management meeting in ten minutes. In one month's time, I'm going to acquire the Gold City Group. Mr. Edison, what's wrong with? You? Did Clara Alexandra upset you again? It was part of my plan to acquire Gold City Group. <laughs> Mr. Edison, drink some water and calm down. 
Look, Clara Alexandra is your ex-wife. If you treat her in this way, it will be bad for your reputation. When have I ever cared about that? If you're so determined, I will cut it in now. Get back here. Yes, Mr. Edison. I've let her off the hook today. If she comes after me again, I'll make sure I don't let her go. Miss Alexandra, did you manage your matters at home? Yes. Kenny Campbell came to see you a week ago. Why did he come to me? He's here to start a fight. I sent him off. Because a good girl like Ken Campbell will never be allowed to step into our company again. There's an upcoming business conference party this Friday. I think you can join it. You've just taken over the company. A proper exporter can strengthen your position. Okay, you go with me then. Okay. Mr. Brady, Miss Alexandra, this is Mr. Brady from Paxson Group. Hello, Mr. Brady. Nice to meet you. Hey, Mr. Addison, isn't that your ex-wife? What's she doing at this party? Is that your ex-wife? She's here at the bunker too. She's the owner of the Gold City Group. It's not weird that she's here. Mr. Edison, why won't she work with us? The Edison Group is so much better than the Parkson Group. <laughs> How do I know? What's she thinking? Why don't you go and ask her? Me? Forget it. Are you afraid of her? I'm not afraid of her. I'm afraid of her son. Her son is too capable. He manages to hack our company's website and recover it. Like a piece of cake. I feel like we're naked. They're in front of him. Can you stop talking about this married thing? <laughs> Mr. Edison, I've heard a lot about you, but I never got the chance to meet you. I never thought I'd have met you here. There's a private room upstairs. Would you mind going to have a seat? No need. I will just stay here. I have some questions to ask you. Are you convenient? No. Also, you are blocking my view. Where is Clara Alexander? Shouldn't be. She was just here. It would change your mind to drink if I knew you couldn't handle alcohol well, Miss Alexander. I didn't drink much either. We are so busy since we are having low alcohol toleration. Miss Alexandra, should I get your room to rest in the hotel? I want to go home. Send me home. But Miss Alexandra, I don't know where you live. Besides, you're in such a bad state. I worried you would feel sick. Harry, get me a room, quick. Miss Alexandra, have a rest here. I will go and get you a room. Miss, can you get me a room? Okay, sir. Hey, Mr. Addison. Clara Alexandra's face is so red. She's either drunk. Oh, she's being dragged. Mr. Addison, if you leave her alone, she might get carried away by other, other carried away by other men.
Mr. Edison, please let go of my boss. Your boss is drunk. I bring her home. Not Edison. It's me. Dream class review have low tolerance. You still the same after six years. I bring you home. But Mr. Edison, you have no idea where my boss lives. I know where she lives. Get lost. Boss, are you close with Mr. Edison? I'm afraid of you being with him. If you're not willing to, just let me know. There's security at the hotel entrance. No one can force you. He is my ex-husband. You've heard her. Now move. You've heard her, right? Move. Mr. Campbell, Mr. Edison took Miss Alexandra away. Did those two hook up again? They stopped seeing each other ages ago. I have no idea. God damn it! I've let Clara Alexandra off the hook this time. Mr. Campbell, come down. I'm sure there will be another chance in the future. We must be more meticulous. Don't let her suspect you. Don't touch me. <laughs> Mr. Addison, it would take you forty minutes to get to her house. Can you enjoy it? I can't. Go to my house. Okay. Slowly. Yes, Miss Madam. Yes, Maria. Bring her to the shower first. She's drunk. Oh, if Miss Addison was so close so early. I should go shower too. You should okay. go first. Why is she on my bed? Miss Edison, she won't let me pass her. She says she wanna sleep, so I brought her here. Noted. You go rest up. I'll bring her to the guest room later. Okay, sir. So, uh... Clara Alexandra, could you not embarrass yourself even again? If you have such low alcohol tolerance, if it weren't for me today, you wouldn't even know how you died. Why are you at my house? Open your eyes and see properly. Whose house are you at? Open your eyes and see properly. Whose house are you at? Oh, thank you for bringing me to a hotel. <laughs> you should just shut up. Sleep properly.、Mm, my head is so dizzy. Don't simply move, or you get dizzy. You seem not bad looking. <laughs> What else? <gasps> nothing. 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 I want to continue.、Hmm? Oh. I want you to praise a little more since you're so drunk. What are you mumbling about? Talking bad about me? You have bad ears. Quite the sons. I knew you were talking bad about me. You drunk.
Connor, I heard that you always be interested in partnering with Scott's group. Could you ever Scott is with King Kendall, brother of owner of Ghost City Group? The brother of the owner of the Ghost City Group? Is this relationship something worth showing up to me? I'm not trying to show up. Then what are you doing? Do you think I haven't heard of Kendall? He told me he can take over the Ghost City Group. The nerd, you can see what he'll do next. Miss Alexandra, I'll serve you some breakfast. Have it before you go. Uh, Who is this woman? Why is she in your house? What's her relationship with her? Her? She's the owner of the Guild City Group. Clara. Who are you guys together? Have you heard anything about this? I'm sure you are also aware that I had an ex-wife. I knew that. Do you know what's my ex-wife's name? Shut up, Bernard! If you're not embarrassed, I am. I was drunk last night. I just forgot about it. I see. You want to get out of it after you wake up. I can't remember how I came to your house last night. There's no way I could have worked here on my feet. I brought you here. <gasps> That's right. Since you brought me here, what have happened? You have to bear the consequences. I wouldn't have been here if I hadn't drunk too much. Fine. Sure. I'm the one being nosy. I didn't mean that way either. What do you mean by that? I didn't mean anything. You have a guest at home. Treat her well. I'll leave first. Wait. Aren't you going to have breakfast? Thanks. My son's waiting for me. He has been waiting all night. I better get back. Did she just say something about the song? She has a song! What? Is she married again? Even if she hadn't gotten married again, she already has a child. Is it against the law to have a child on her own? That's not what I mean. Clara had given birth before. She's not good enough for you. Whether a woman deserves to be with me or not has nothing to do with her. Ready, have a children. Do you want be the one to take over? Wouldn't it be nice to find a single lady? Shut up. If you keep talking nonsense, I'll be forced to throw you out. Get out. Come on, just have a beat. Clara, you are finally back. Isa is worried about you and hasn't eaten anything since morning. Ethan, I was drunk last night and slept out. I'm back. It's okay. Don't worry. You were at Pinot House last night. How do you know that? I checked the location of your phone. Ah, uh, yes. I was drunk last night and I met a nerd. So he brought me home. <sighs> Is he my daddy? Um, I guess so. Both of you look quite alike. I see. Six years ago, when I married Bernard, his grandma arranged a medical checkup for me. I'm sure that is not typical check. He said, Do you want the dead? If you want the dead, I'll talk to Bernard. Okay. I'm going to wait. Abby, I'm going out later. I won't be there at home. Okay, go ahead. Hey, Clara. Why are you drinking drunk daytime? Aren't you going to the office? I want to try my hand at echo. Is this really that bad? Well, I drink with you then. I slept with Bernard last night. I slept with Bernard last night. 
Are you out of your mind? Have you forgotten how he used to treat you before? I was strong last night. Plus, I don't think he knows that Ethan is his son. He kept calling Ethan a bastard, saying that Ethan's daddy is a home wrecker. I wonder what his reaction would be if he knew that Ethan was his son. <laughs> Are you going to tell him the truth?、Hmm. When I was leaving his house that morning, I saw a woman at his house. He has a pretty messy lifestyle. I don't want to get in this. Cheers.、Mm. Miss Alexandra, you reeked of alcohol. Have you been drinking? I had a cup of drink with my friend. Well, do you want to take a rest? No. Derek, don't you find it strange? At the party last night, I drank only one glass and became dizzy. I had a cup of drinks with my friend during the lunch today, and I'm still pretty sober. Maybe last night's wine was stronger. It's the same wine. I wonder what happened last night. It's best to drink less from now on. By the way, Mr. Dixon's wife is here today. Harry, let her in. All right. Hello. You were the one who killed my husband. I.、Uh, Mrs. Dixon, take it easy. We are also very sad about James' death. It has nothing to do with Miss Alexandra. You should get here earlier, and do. Miss Alexandra, are you right? I'm fine. You don't have to worry about the R and D matters. We can definitely find another qualified R and D. Okay, you can leave first. I won't be alone. All right. Hello, hello, Mr. Addison. Today is your treatment day. When will you be arriving? Okay, I'm on my way. Go to the mental rehabilitation center. Doctor, I had a great sleep last night. What about the day before yesterday and two days ago? You don't need insomnia treatment if your sleep improves consistently. Please lie down over here. Clara, tell me, whose bastard is this? I beg you. I'm begging you to let go of me. You told me today. I'll kill him. You regret it. No, I won't. He's your son. Don't you regret killing your child? He's. He's. Clara. Ethan. Ethan. Clara. Don't go, Ethan. No. He's your son. Don't you regret killing your child? Ethan. Ethan is my son. No. Nightmare. Why is this dream so real? Boss, were you looking for me, William? Go check out Clara Alexandra for me. What's the point of checking her out? Don't you already know everything about her? I'd like to know. Who is her son's biological father? Boss, are you in love with her? There's no reason to check now. You didn't check it six years ago. 
Shut up. Just do what I say. All right. Boss, Clara Alexandra has a best friend here called Sharon Camry. I think we can begin by looking into her. Hello, I'm William Lawrence, the assistant of the president of the Edison Group. I'm looking for an employee called Sharon Camry. All right, thanks. Hello, Miss Camry. There's a gentleman at the front desk looking for you. All right. Thank you. Hello, are you looking for me? Hello, I'm William Lawrence, the assistant of the president of the Edison's group. Mr. Edison wants to talk to you. Please come out with me. This way, please. Mr. Lawrence, what does your boss want from me? I'm on duty now. I can't be away from work for too long. It's fine. If your boss wants you, just push it to Mr. Edison. If it gives you a hard time, Mr. Edison will surely give him a lesson. So where's Mr. Edison? What's he doing here? Is he trying to get a word for me? Mr. Edison, I was told you were looking for me. I'm at work, so it's not convenient. Get in the car. Miss Camry, you are close to Clara Alexandra, right? Yes, Miss Edison. Did you want to ask me about her? Here's your compensation for the lost wages, just to keep you calm. Damn it! It's by me. I still have it. You owe every single question of mine, and I'll give you one of these. No, Miss Edison. A Sharon Camry won't betray my best friend. I'm not a cat for pretty. Really? I haven't asked you anything, and you're rejecting me. What are you afraid of? I'm not afraid. All right. Just a week. Who's the father of Clara Alexandra's son? I've never met her son. How would I ever meet his father? Hey, Mister Edison, you got the wrong person. Miss Cameron, you have a glint in your eye. You're lying. No, I'm not. Reasonably speaking, a genius like Ethan Alexandra. Wouldn't just simply bully an innocent person so recklessly? Oh, Mr. Edison, I have a headache. I really don't know anything. Believe. Oh, really? Let me go. Hey, Mr. Edison, I didn't say anything. How is it going, Mr. Edison? Did you find out anything? She's very tight-lipped. She refuses to say anything. But the more he hides, the more suspicious I felt. Suspect what? Okay, let's go. Hello. Hello, Clara. Bernard Edison approached me. He used money to buy me to tell him who Ethan Alexandra's father is. Do you think he suspects something? What did you tell him? I didn't say anything. Don't worry, I'm very tight-lipped. Okay, let's forget about him for now. If he suspects, I can hide it. Yes. I must get rid of Clara Alexandra. Otherwise, Bernard Edison won't pick me at all. Zeddy, don't be mad. She won't be standing for a very long time. Once she lost the Guild City Group, Bernard Edison would drop her. Do you mean Bernard Edison is with Clara Alexandra just because he wants to get the Guild City Group? Of course. The Guild City Group developed a new generation of smart chip. Everybody is trying to get it. So is the Edison's group. Hey, I heard that the head of the development of the chip died suddenly a couple of weeks ago. There's a lot of conflict within the Guild City Group. Does that mean that if I get the chip, I will have Bernard Edison? Could you steal that chip? Only Clara Alexandra can get the chip. 
But we can take advantage of the current situation of the Goat City Group, do something about it. What should we do if there's anything? I'll just manage it. With your support, my upcoming plan will be perfect. Just wait and see. I've had someone to bribe Clara Alexandra's assistant. I know every move she makes next. This time, I'm going to defeat Clara Alexandra. Be careful, any more mistakes. Don't worry. Clara Alexandra will never get away with it. Here's the profile of the senior R&D engineer. You take it to Clara tomorrow. Clara is in lack of qualified professionals. She will definitely hire him. Mr. Campbell, did you pay this person off? Clara was able to escape last time, but she won't be so lucky this time. Miss Alexandra, I heard from a friend last night about senior engineer called Jagger Robinson. He has accomplished a number of things in the chip development field. He has just been back here and hasn't joined a new company yet. Why don't we get him here? Okay, make an appointment with him for me. If he is available, arrange a chat to meet. Okay, I'll inform you when I have an appointment with him. Okay. Mr. Edison, there's a charity party tonight. The organizer invited you. Got it. Uh, will you go? If you don't want to, ask the vice president to go in your place. But before your dad retired, he went to all the charity parties himself. Yes, I know. I will go. Uh, all right. I'll tell them. Miss Alexandra, I just made an appointment with Jack Robinson. He said he's available tonight. I arranged to meet him at 7 p.m. Is the timing okay? No. Have you decided the location? He's in the restaurant the hotel he's staying because he's just back home and still jet lagged. But he has a strong will to join our company, so he wants to talk to you first. Okay, I'll talk to him tonight. Okay. Miss Alexandra. Yes? It's my girlfriend's birthday. She's calling me to go back to her. Uh, then hurry up. Just go. You should be telling me earlier. I don't need you to stay with me. How about I take you to the restaurant and I will leave after meeting Jack Robinson? No, I've seen his photo and I have this contact. Okay, I'll go then. Call me whenever you need anything. Don't worry, everything will be for tonight. Just go for a girlfriend. Boss, I guess I saw Clara's assistant at the entrance. Clara's assistant? Yes. Does it mean she's here too? I didn't see her, but I saw her assistant. Where did you see him? At the hotel entrance. When we just get out of the car, I saw him talk on the phone. Go and take a look. See whether Clara's here or not. Boss, what if she's really here? If she's here. I will go up with her. Okay, boss. Wait a moment. I will check. Why is Derek having contact with Kenny? Did Kenny bribe Derek? If that's so, Clara is in danger. Boss, I didn't see Clara, but I saw Kenny. Can he? Yes. What is he doing here? I have no idea. But I saw Derek and Kenny talking to each other. I suspect that Derek got bribed by Kenny. I can't believe Kenny used such lowly tricks to go against Clara. Boss, should we tell Clara about this? If not, she will definitely at disadvantage. Mr. Robinson, our company's head of R&D department passed away in an accident, so we need a supervisor. I've seen the resume and I think you're quite a candidate. 
Derek has told me everything on the phone. Miss Alexandra, I'd wish to work with your company too. How about this? Let's have a drink first. We'll talk while we're at it. Hey, cheers. Why isn't she picking up her phone? Is she in trouble now? Us. The charity banquet is starting soon. Should we join the event? You attend and behave for me. Huh? I'm going to look for Clara. This? Okay. I wait for you there. Clara, why didn't you pick up your phone just now? What were you doing? Good evening, sir. Your friend had dinner here just now. And left her phone in the restaurant. Are you her friend? Yes. Why should she leave her phone there? Who did she have dinner with? Your friend had dinner with a fellow male. She got drunk and was carried away by the man. Okay, I will go get her phone now. How did the man she had dinner with look like? Please check the CCTV footage and send the male picture to me. Sure. Please wait a moment. Mr. Campbell, Clara Alexandra is already on my bed. She's now. I can choose. Hello. Have you seen this man before? Did he book a room here? Please take a closer look. I've seen this customer. I'll check it for you. Just a moment. Okay. Tonight, she must won't be able to wake up. Good. After you're finished with her, I'll find more men over and take some nudes. Use these photos to trade the trip with her. If she doesn't agree, I will expose the photos to the public so that she won't be able to face anyone. Great. This man is Jagger Robinson. He checked into our hotel two days ago. What's his room number? Six o nine. My beauty, here I come. Bastard! Who the fuck are you? How dare you keep open my door? Clara, Clara, wake up! Motherfucker! How dare you hit me? Clara, Clara, wake up! Clara, be careful! Clara, go, call someone. Okay, I'll go now. How are you? Are you okay? Clara, send me to the hospital. Okay. My phone is in my pocket. Clara. Clara! Clara! He's You're awake, Mr. Addison. You have such a good son. He came to the hospital early in the morning and stayed by your side the entire time. This isn't my son. Ah, my bad. He looks similar to you, so I thought he is. What did you say? Does he? Auntie, my mom says she got stabbed in the heart. I'm here to see if she's dead yet. He got treated just in time. He won't die. Oh, Ethan, how's your mom? I won't tell you.、Uh, He has quite the attitude. Right, how's his mom? Who is his mom? The woman who came to the hospital with me yesterday. She's awake. She's on her drip now. How's her condition? She got drugged. Okay, understand. Those scumbags. 
after I'm out of the hospital. I won't let you off the hook. Hello? Mr. Combo, Clara is not at the company yet. She isn't picking up her phone either. Fuck, I couldn't get in touch and Jagger too. What's going on with both of them? Didn't you go to the hotel and check? Of course I did. They told me Jagger had checked it out. Is he not answering this phone too? Yes, this phone has shut down. Why keeps on twitching today? Something doesn't seem right. Do you know this feeling? Is it possible that things have been exposed? What should we do now? Don't panic. No, Minoli. I'm still Clara's brother. If she comes after you... Come to me first. Oh, you'd better lie down. Don't put the wand. It's no longer hurting so much. What about you? I'm alright now. I can't be discharged. I woke up this morning and a serious zombie sat me. He said he came to see if I'm dead, but I feel like he was being defensive. My son is not very good at expressing himself, so don't take it to heart. Also, Thank you for last night. You're welcome. We'll be more careful next time. Plus, there is something wrong with your assistant. Do you mean Derek? Otherwise, why do you think I'm in the room? My assistant saw Derek talking to Kenny. Derek did send me to meet Jagger Robinson yesterday. I didn't realize he was like this. You judge a man's credibility? But his looks? Of course not. He usually works very hard, but I never thought he'd have a bad character. You have to change this guy anyway. I'll talk to him. Oh yeah, I think your best friend's treating you pretty well. You can hear her as the assistant. Yeah, I'll get back to her. Get some rest. When you're out of the hospital, I'll treat you to repay you. Okay. Hey then, did you go visit Bernard Addison this morning? Are you worried about him? In fact, your father is not that bad. He's helped me out a couple of times lately. I decided to make peace with him from now on. Don't take him as an enemy, okay? Good boy. Let's go. Hey, who is this? Why is he standing in front of my house? Hey, is it? No time to see. Then do you know this uncle? Mom, he's my cyber huh? friend. Hello, Miss Alexandra. I'm Lucas Yusuf, Ethan's best friend. Mr. Yusuf, nice to meet you. Let's go inside and talk. Okay. Alright. Have some water. Alright, thanks. Mr. Yusuf. Yes? I didn't expect that you're a friend of my son. Would you be interested in being his tutor? <coughs> oh, the pay is not the problem. But didn't Ethan ask me here to help you? Huh? Ethan's trying to get you to work for my company? Yes. Yes. Doesn't your company need a head of research and development? Did Ethan tell you that? This information is also available online. Do you work in R&D? Uh, yes. Alright, since you're recommended by my son, you're welcome to take a chance with us. Alright. Sharon, are you interested in getting a new job? I'm looking to hire a new assistant. Was your private assistant? He and Kenny both set me up last night. Bernard discovered it. Bernard even got hurt because of this. How about you? I was fine. How about Bernard? Was he hurt badly? It's not serious, but he has been hospitalized. Mm, these drugs are really bad at getting what they want. If they mess with Bernard, he'll definitely never let him go. It's karma. Surely. Clara, does Bernard Edison like you? I feel like he has helped you several times. How do I know that? How about you? Do you like him? You should know this. I don't want to think about it now. Let's have our drink. There's no shame in being in love with him, although we should not go back to the same pasture. But if the same pasture is Bernard Addison, that's a different story. Let's go with the flow. Yes. Well, I'll resign from the hotel tomorrow and go to your company. Hmm, Sharon, thank you so much. I've been thinking about changing jobs for a while, so I should be the one to thank you for giving me this opportunity. What are you going to do with the previous assistant? He called me several times, but I didn't answer. I'm planning to talk to him face to face when I go to the office tomorrow. You mustn't be lenient with such traitors. All right. Hey. Hello, Mr. Steele. 
Ryan Lawrence, assistant to the president of the Indian group, here to find Miss Alexandra. Hi, Miss Alexandra isn't here yet. I see. It's okay. I'll wait for her. She may not come today. She didn't show up yesterday. Good morning, Miss Alexandra. What brings you here? I was just paying money on my way to work, so I dropped it to look for you. I've already brought Jagger Robinson to the police. He spread it all. It was exactly as what we predicted. So, Miss Alexandra, you should never let the culprit go. Isn't that right, Mr. Seal? Okay, I got it. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. I will leave it to you. All right. I was at hospital yesterday, so I didn't answer your call. Miss Alexandra, what's wrong with you? Stop pretending. What did Kenny Campbell offer you to make you think you'd better off with him than me? I'm sorry, Miss Alexandra. Are you thinking so highly of him? I don't really think much of him. Then you. why are you willing to be on his side? I'm short of cash. Why didn't you tell me that? Miss Alexandra is not a small amount of money. My girlfriend is on me buying a house before he married me, so I asked him for two million dollars. Kenny Campbell did offer you a good deal. Unfortunately, you missed it both times. Miss Alexandra, what are you going to do with me? Just quit. I don't want to see you again. Miss Alexandra, Kenny has someone behind here. You should be careful from now on. This is my new assistant, Sharon Camry. From now on, you can contact her if you need anything. How about Derek Steele? He's so competent at his job. Why do you arrange someone to replace him? He was bribed by Ken Campbell. I discovered it. So okay, Miss Alexandra. So how do you define bribing and just doing it in a standard way? As an employee, as long as you do anything that harms company's welfare, regardless you've received anything, you should quit. Who are you? I'm having a discussion with Miss Alexandra. Who are you to interrupt? He is Lucas Yusuf. From now on, he is the manager of the R&D department of Gold City Group. He just said what I was trying to say. Anyone who has any objections can submit their resignation. Clara Alexander replaced Derek Steele with her best friend as her assistant. She also found a new R&D manager. A new R&D manager? Who's that? Her name is Lucas Yusuf, back from studying abroad. What did you say? Clara's R&D manager is Lucas Yusuf? Uh, why? Do you know him? My first love was Lucas Yusuf, but he's been abroad all these years. Is it possible that this guy you're talking about is my first love? It can't be such a coincidence. Well, I have someone send his photo. Let's see if he's your first love. Yeah, let the guy send it over now. Okay. Look. What a coincidence! This is my first love. I didn't expect him to work at Alexandra's company. Eh? When you two broke up, did you do anything hurt him? No, he's the one who broke up with me. We broke up because he's moving abroad. Isn't that great? Think about it. There was a relationship between both of you. Now you go to him and ask him for a favor. Will he refuse? We have been searching the ways high and low, but getting it effortless. It seems that Clara Alexandra is fated to be in my hair. Yes, your first lab is the chief R&D manager of Good City Group. He does have access to the chip. Once you get him to steal the chip, there will be nothing left of a Clara Alexandra. <laughs> I'll ask him now for dinner tonight. I'll double what Alexandra can offer him. Zeddy, even God help us all. Cheers. You bastard, what are you doing here? <coughs> Did you come to make fun of me? <coughs> and where is your mom? I can't find her anywhere. My mom divorced you a long time ago. Stop trying to find her. I'm here to look for Kenny Campbell. He's got someone to get to me. Somebody's been telling the truth about him. I'm here to seek an explanation from him. My son found someone to kill you. You deserve it. How dare you come to my house and ask for an explanation? You are just like your mom. None of you is a good one. Yes, you're the only one who's good. What are you talking about? I will let you know your position today. <laughs> <sighs> 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 
She said let Derek still go. Yeah, she's soft hearted. How about Kenny Campbell? Is he not going to sue Kenny? I don't think she will. Kenny is her nominal brother. Although there's no blood relationship, her mom has been with Hugh Campbell for a long time. She's still too nice. This is not good. Yes, you're right. Kenny will only be worse than Hugh Campbell. He doesn't care about brotherhood. No. I have to call her. If you let him go this time, he will revenge even faster next time. Let's go. Sharon, take me to the hospital. What's wrong? <laughs> okay. Are you alright? I'm fine. How could you be fine looking in so much pain? Could you have been beaten by Ken Campbell? It's not him. Then it's his family. Let's go to the hospital first. Sharon, answer the phone for me. Maybe it's from Ethan. Clara Alexandra, you don't answer my phone calls and texts. Did something happen to you again? Congratulations, you're right. Are you Sharon? Congratulations, you're right again. Where's Clara? She went to Campbell's house and got beaten up. We're in the hospital now. Sharon, why do you say everything? It's Bernard Addison calling. Is it not okay to tell him? Hey, anything looking for me? I'm telling you not to let Kenny Campbell go. But you got beaten up at the Campbell's house. I didn't expect a physical fight. Are you dumb? They already set you up. Why did you think they wouldn't dare to do anything to you? My stepdad did it, not him. Be more careful next time. Get more bodyguards. You can't reason with people like them. <laughs> Are you still in the hospital? I'll come visit you later. Cool. My assistant is on the way to buy me later. Come over and eat with me later. Can you have a midnight snack now? I can only eat something light. Okay. I'll see you later. Alright. You're welcome. Let's go. Are you going to see Bernard? Okay, you go ahead. I won't be a third wheel. I feel bad that he got hurt because of me. I'm here at the hospital, so I might as well go see him. No need to explain. I'm cool with you two being together. Go for it. Take care on your way. Yep. Haven't you heard the saying? A qualified axe shoot out of sight and out of mind. Are you calling me a bad axe? Nah. Just tell me what you need. Do you really not want to see me? Can I reach out to you when nothing's going on? Sure, but I'm not very free, you know. If there's nothing important, it's probably better not to meet me. Why aren't you just tired today? It's already past working hours. You're not going back to work over time, are you? You seem to know me quite well. You're the R&D manager at Gold City Group. That's quite a high position. Someone already told me about it right after you joined. If there's nothing else, I'm heading out. Come send over time to- Hey, Lucas. I got something to talk to you. Just tell me what's up. I want a chip from Gold City Group. You are the R&D manager there now? I know you have access to the chips. If you help me out, I can offer you whatever you want. Looks like your family's been doing well financially lately. My family's business has been doing really well these past few years. Incredible. Lucas! Just help me out. We haven't seen each other for years. Oh, come on. Ask me to do something like that right when we meet. What do you expect me to do? I understand. Asking you to do this puts you in a tough spot. But Alexandra isn't actually a good person either. Do you know how did she get the initial founding for such a big company? I heard from her brother that her mom embezzled quite a bit of money from Campbell's family. So, everything Alexandra has now is pretty much stolen. None of my business. Seriously? Think about what I said. As long as you're willing to help me. I'll make sure you're well taken care of. Whatever you want, I'll make it happen. Look, let me think about it first. After all, I've only just started. I have to gain Clara's trust first. Don't you think so? Okay.
You're here. Hey, Miss Alexandra, you're here. I will keep in your hand then. Okay. I'm leaving now. Okay, you can go. Eh, Miss Alexandra, what happened to your arm? It's nothing. All right, then I'll. It looks bad. It's just swollen. Doctor had put some medicine on it. My steps had hit me with a stick, a knife. That old man, so vicious. You must never forgive him. Also, don't you forget that he was the one who sold you to my family. I won't forget it. I won't be seeing him anymore. If he dares to mess with me again, I'll make him pay the price. Oh yeah, I'm going to be discharged tomorrow. Isn't that too soon? Yeah, I can't sleep well here. You haven't even recovered yet. If you live in such a hurry, your wound may get infected. Are you worried about me? You're hurt because of me. It's only normal that I worried about you. Don't worry. I have a doctor at home. Okay. Why aren't you eating? You are so skinny. Here. Have some. Oh yeah. I have something to ask you. What is it? If we hadn't divorced six years ago, what do you think would be now? There are no what ifs, so let's not think about that. Have you ever thought about it? No, that's because I'm doing fine now. If in that case, does that mean you are feeling unhappy and resentful when you're with me? That's not it. It's just. That you grew up in a wealthy family, unlike me. My father was gone when I was a kid, and my mom remarried. You wouldn't have known what it's like to live under others' roof. You have no idea what it's like to be poor. We're not on the same level. I'm sorry. It's my lack of empathy. That's not what I meant. It's just that everyone has differences. Mr. Edison, your uncle is here. He's at the door now. Oh my! Hey, what, what are you doing? Please let him in now. Bernard, I came as soon as I landed when I heard you were in the hospital. Uncle, I'm fine. That's good. Are you having supper? Yeah. Why are you eating so blind? It's all I can eat now. I've heard that your wound is on your chest, right? Let me see it. Eh, it's fine. It's not too bad. I will be discharged tomorrow. Oh, I see. That's good. Have you supper? I want you. I'm full. Ah,、huh? but you only ate so little. You need to eat more to recover fast. I will eat later, Uncle. It's getting late. You should go home and get some rest. I just got here, and you're telling me off. We haven't seen each other for long.、Uh, no, I. I'm just a little tired. Okay. You look pretty beat up. You should rest more. All right. Take your rest. I will be leaving. Bye bye. Bye. Clara, come out. Hello, Uncle. Who is this woman? Why are you two in the same bed? Uncle, she's my friend. She's here to with me. Clara, why were you hiding? I don't know. My mind just went blank, so I chose to hide. I think I have heard that name before. Uncle, she's the one Grandma introduced me to. Ah,、oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I thought you guys have been divorced for a long time. Are you two getting back together? Maybe we're meant to be.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's good. You two look good together. I approve of it. Thank you, Uncle. But let's not tell my parents about this. After all, 
we haven't met it official yet. Okay, I won't. You guys keep it on. I will be leaving now. Sure. Uncle, I'm I'm going to. Eh? Clara, Kenny's in the headlines. What's with him? He's been accused of doing drugs and prostitution. What a disgrace! Is it real? Of course it is. There are videos all over the internet. If I were him, I wouldn't dare to see anyone. Wait. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hello, Bernard. Did you leak those scandals about Kenny? It's not me. It's probably your son. What? Clara, I guess you don't know your son that well either. Well, he doesn't talk much. His father. I'm busy right now. I I gotta go. Clara, why are you always avoiding this topic? What are you afraid of? The nurse said it looks like me. Really, his father. Hey, boss. Willem, help me with something. Sure. Go to Clara's house and tell her son that my computer is broken. I need him to come over and check it. Yes, sir. I'm on it. Ethan. Who the hell would do this to me? It must be Clara. Who else could it be? She's not capable of that. Of course she's not. But she has the money. Money makes things happen, don't you know? Crazy shrew. I will make her pay for this. Kenny. She's richer than you. You have to be careful. I won't fed her head on. Don't worry. And her mother is not good either. Dad, let's not talk about that woman. She's probably made a lot of money off of us. I, I'm telling you, maybe she's the one who funded Clara's business. I, how could I have known they were so capable back then? Shit. Boss. Ethan, thanks for coming over to fix my computer. If you fix it today, I will buy you lunch, okay? I've got food at home. Okay, let's see if you can help fix my computer first. Where's your computer? There is it. The computer cannot connect the network. I'm not sure if the problem is with the computer or the network. Okay. How did you manage to get him here so easily? Didn't you help Miss Alexandra before? Thus, Ethan is waiting to help you back. But boss, why don't you get professional? What if Ethan can't fix it? I need him here for something else. Huh? What is it? It's top secret. It's fixed! That's fast! That's fast! Let me see. There's something wrong with the DNS. I just reset and it's done. Ethan, you're so awesome. You saved my mom last time. Now we're even. Well, it's lunch time now. Why don't you stay here for lunch? That's right, Ethan. Let's have lunch together. I will take you home afterward. Yeah. Okay. Here. Ethan, try some of this. Thank you. Eat all you want. We'll go home after we are done eating. Bernard, I heard that resistant took my son. What do you want from him? Ask Ethan to fix my computer. We are eating lunch now. Do you want to talk to him? Put him on the phone. Ethan, it's your mom. Okay. Hello, mom. Ethan, are you okay? Yes. That's good. You'd better come home after lunch. Okay. Mr. Addison, I'm going home. I will send him home. I 
I'd like to see if I can get Ethan's DNA from the cutlery. Ethan, I have a strong feeling that you're my son. Ethan went to Bernard's place. Yes, his computer is broken, so Ethan is there to check it out. No, think about it. He's the CEO of the Edison's group. Can't he find someone else to fix it? Why would he look for a five-year-old? I'm afraid it's not that simple. But I just called him, and he sent Ethan home. It's probably nothing. I'm not saying he has any bad intentions. Look, he helped you so many times. I bet he's interested in you. He brought Ethan over for lunch today. He must be trying to get Ethan. But I think it's much harder to get Ethan than me. I don't think he doesn't realize that. I don't think so. I find Ethan nice to be around. That's because you two can get along. If you say so. How are you enjoying your job? It's all good so far. It's just I don't know why. They're always staring me. It's because you're good looking. If you have any doubts about work, feel free to contact me. Okay, it's fine. Even if there's a problem, I can handle it myself. You're just like Ethan. <laughs> How could you say that? Ethan is younger than me, so he should be the one like me. Fine, Ethan's just like you. How did it go with Lucas? I think he's a pretty straightforward person. Based on my observation, he doesn't pay much attention to his image. I notice his shirts are almost worn out. Really? I haven't noticed it. Well, you're not interested in him, so you probably didn't notice. I see. Next time when we go shopping, let's buy him some clothes. He might not even have any outfits for the season change. You are such a good boss. You even buy clothes for employees. Of course, he's the one who keeps our entire R&D department thriving. It's only fair to treat him well. All right, let's go this weekend then. Yeah. Hey, Clara, why didn't you bring Ethan with you? Oh, he went to see Lucas. It's quite strange, isn't it? The age difference is so big, yet they get along well. Hey, Clara, I think I figured out why Ethan doesn't like to talk. It's not that he doesn't like to talk; he just finds people his age too immature. Well, I've decided to give him freedom. As long as he's happy, it's fine. This outfit looks pretty good, right? Eh, Miss Alexandra, what a coincidence! William. Are you here to buy clothes too? Yeah, this is a men's clothing store. I assume you must be here to buy clothes for your father. This style is too fashionable. It may not be suitable for him. My father passed away a few years ago. Ah, huh? I'm sorry. Mr. Lawrence, you're quite nice, but the mouth of yours. You always say the wrong things. Can it be Clara buying clothes for her boyfriend? Miss Alexandra doesn't have a boyfriend. How do you know that? Did you investigate her? You really did? Well, Miss Alexandra is the boss of the Gulf City Group. I'm sure many people have investigated her. Even if Clara didn't have a boyfriend before, she can have one now. Miss Alexandra, do you have a boyfriend? Who is he? Why are you so nervous? Do you like Clara? Uh, well, it's not like that. Not me. It's. What is it? Is it that your boss likes Clara? <laughs> You guys go ahead. I have something to take care. He is really fun. Clara, let's buy this outfit. And then pick up a new T-shirt. Sounds good. All right. Hello. Can you wrap this for me? Sure. Thank you. Let's go check out there. Clara is in a relationship now. Recently, there have been other men around her beside me. Mr. Addison, this is your delivery. Mr. Addison, has the test result between you with Ethan come out? Is Ethan your son? 
Ethan is really my son. Mariam, Ethan is really my son. What exactly happened six years ago? Mariam, I feel like I'm crazy. Mr. Edison, this is good news. You must find an opportunity to talk with Miss Alexandra. Remember, be a bit more understanding. Women respond better to kindness. Clara is out there buying clones for other men. She clearly has no intention of letting Ethan recognize me as her father. Why else would she hide it from me? But Ethan is your son. Miss Alexandra has no right to prevent a father from fulfilling his responsibilities. Clara, you're finally back. We have guests at home. Clara, you are finally back. I've been waiting for you all afternoon. Didn't you have a fight, Clara? No. Then why does he look so fierce? If you're scared, you can go back first. I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay here. If he bullies you, at least I can protect you. Sharon, this is none of your business. You should leave first. I have some very private matters to discuss with Kalara. Fine. But you're not allowed to bully her. Bully her? It seems like I'm always the one being bullied. You, you go home first. We'll talk later. Tell me. What matters do you have to discuss with me? Ethan is my son. Who told you that? No one told me. I found out on my own. Where is Ethan? Why isn't he at home? Are you hiding him from me? Lucas, Ethan, have you guys in yet? We're outside. Who is this? Bernard Edson, thank you for taking care of my son. Ah. Are you saying that Ethan is your son? That's right. I have proof here that... Oh, it's fine. If there's nothing else, I will be taking my leave now. Let me walk you out. It's okay. You should handle your matter first. Ding, ding, ding. Hey, Sam. Why are you giving that look? I'm your father. I have a DNA report with me. You are my son. Didn't your mother tell you anything about it before? Hey, you brat. Why are you ignoring me? Even if you ignore me, I'm still your father. Stop calling. Did you forget that you used to call him a bastard? That's because I didn't know about this. Why did you keep it a secret from me? I only just found out about it. What happened? What exactly happened six years ago? Why did we suddenly have a child? We did not have sex before. Even this test you. Did you do it? Can you think of a second? I would have yours more. If it wasn't you, could it be my grandma? Yes. She treated me to the hospital twice. She said it was just for checkup. I didn't even suspect anything. If Ethan doesn't look like you, it would be hard to explain. I can't believe grandma did this. She didn't say anything about this. I'm sorry, Clara. I didn't know about it. If I had known, I wouldn't have done that to you. Not to mention calling our son a bastard. Son, what do you mean? You'd want me to kneel on this. I'm the CEO of the Addison Group. Hey, come back here. I will do it. I'll do it, all right. Huh? Don't feel bad about it. Who told you to mess with him? Yeah. 
Not only with him, but also you. Well, that's a good point. Do that you're clear about this. Hello? Hey, Lucas. Have you gone far yet? I thought I'd give you this kind of opportunity. Just to bring it to the office next time. Okay. Have a safe trip. Clara. He bought gloves for Lucas. All right. Now will I decide? Let's talk about Ethan. What about it? Are you going to fight for the custody? Let's get married then. We will take care of our son together. Tremor. Hold down. How long do I have to kneel? You could at least give me a time. You didn't even think really. You can't stop me now. Why didn't you say earlier? Eh? Did you bet this for you then? Is this especially for punishing him? This is Alex. Give it back to her. Hey, Clara. Why don't I move in with you tomorrow? I want to bond with Ethan. But you think it's inappropriate. How is living with my son considered inappropriate? It's settled then. I'll move in tomorrow. How shameless. Hello, boss. I've seen Lucas. How dare he compete with me for a woman? Schroeder overestimating himself. Ah, uh, ouch! Shouldn't be. I've got Lucas' profile here. It shows that he's good looking. You think he's better looking than me? Uh, no, 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 no. Boss, how can this be? <laughs> you are the most handsome man. I'm going to get Clara back. Ethan is my son. I have to get them both. Bus, go for it. Hurry up! Hurry up! Clara, why don't I get a guest room ready? Now, if he wants to stay here, let him do it himself. You don't need to take care of me anymore. Let's see how long he can stay without someone to look after him. But I'm afraid if I don't have a guest room ready for him, you stay in your room. After all, he doesn't feel embarrassed at all. Alright, Abby. Please bring the guest room for me. Okay. Boss, I found a surprising discover when I was checking on Lucas' information. What is it? Look, Lucas and Zeddy used to be in a relationship. Isn't that coincidental? Do you mean... They're in coach. Mm, there might be a possibility. I have a feeling that Clara might not know it. I'm moving in with her today. I will tell her about it. No way, boss. Are you guests living together already? That's right. Damn. You were the greatest. Mommy knows. It's hard for you to accept your dad. Don't be mad at him for moving in, okay? Let's try to get along. If it doesn't work, we'll see what we can do. Hmm. Come in. Oh, Mr. Addison is here. Put my stuff here. You can go. Okay. Mr. Abyss, I've prepared a guest room for you. I'll take your suitcase to your room. Okay, thanks. Clara, your nanny has a really good attitude. Did you teach her that? I didn't teach her that. She was scared by you. I allow you to stay in my house, but we need to make some promises. 
First, don't touch my personal belongings. Second, don't touch Eden's personal belongings. Third, don't come into our room without our permission. What am I? A thief? You're the one who insisted on me. If you can't accept this, you can leave. I was going to tell you a secret, but now I won't. <clears throat> Beg for it. I'm not begging you. Do not say you for all I care. Now I have moved in. I can play with you every day. Are you happy? Yeah. Let me go with you. Huh? Ethan. One day, I will make you rely on me. Ah! Oh! Clara! Clara! Clara, there is a snake! Snake? Where is it? It's on my bed. I'm so scared. Clara, I'm sleeping with you tonight. There's no way there's a snake in my house. I'll take a look. It's on my bed. It's really there. I know. If there's a snake, we have to catch it. What if it gets into Ethan's room? Clara, aren't you scared? What's so scary about snakes? You're so scared. Is it really that big? <laughs> Fine. Just stay in my room. I'll go check it out. Eh? I'll go with you. I'm afraid you'll pass out. Then I'll have to look after you. Alright. You stay here. Good luck. Don't come any closer. You're so timid. It's just a fake steak. Here. It's yeah. fake? Take a good look. Take it away! This thing is so disgusting. It's too realistic. Have you been bitten by a snake before? Why are you so afraid of snakes? No. I just find them dirty. Coming from a rich family. Never suffered before. I get it. Why are you mocking me? Then why are you on my bed? Get I down now! No. I'm scared. Scared of what? It's fake. But it's still scary. What if there's more in my room? It must be Ethan who put this fake snake in his room. He still can't accept his dad. I wonder what else will he do? What's the point of hiding in my room? Why don't you get a bodyguard to sleep with you? Uh... Uh, it hurts. What's wrong? Maybe it's because I ran over here and I hurt my wound. I'll call the doctor. Uh, it's not that serious. Fine, you can sleep in my room. I'll use the guest room. My wound isn't fully healed yet. I won't do anything to you. What are you afraid of? I'm not scared. Do you think it's appropriate for us to sleep in the same bed? It's not like we haven't slept together before. Besides, can we just stay here together and talk about how we're going to raise Ethan? As expected, he's so shameless. Oh, I have something to tell you. Come closer. I'll tell you. 
I said. Lucas, you are R&D department manager. Was that his first love? What? They used to be together. They were, but I don't know what's with them now. Even if they're not in a relationship now, they used to be close. Aren't you afraid that he will betray you? He never told me about this. Maybe he doesn't know that Zaini and I are not on good terms. I bet Zaini already knows that Lucas is working your company. Maybe they're shaming a plan against you. Thanks for telling me this. Eh? No need to thank me. I'm just in warning you, so you don't get betrayed again. Got it. Aren't you going to sleep? I'm getting sleepy. Just sleep if you're sleepy. Okay. I'll sleep first. I'm still a little scared, though. Fine. I'm not leaving. I'll leave when you're asleep. Clara, what's wrong? We... How did we end up in the same bed? Oh, last night I saw you asleep on the edge of the bed. So I brought you up. Don't worry. We did nothing. Oh, well... Is your wound feeling better? Oh, it doesn't hurt anymore. That's good. I think it's Ethan who put the fake snake in the room. Don't blame him. I didn't mean it. Why do you just let him be like that? You don't even educate him. Aren't you afraid he would get worse? Ethan's different from other kids. He's not immature. He just tends to resist people he doesn't like. Okay, I don't blame him. In fact, I should thank him. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't have slept in your room last night. Don't tell him about this. He'll pissed again. He's quite a little rascal. Miss Alexandra, did you look for me? Oh, here. I bought you some clothes last week. Give them a try. If they don't fit, you can change them at the store. How come you bought clothes for me? Sharon said your shirt is a bit worn out. We happened to go shopping last weekend and got this for you. Oh, thanks a lot. I didn't even notice my clothes had an issue. Well, because you don't focus on appearances. That's true. I haven't paid attention to that. Well, I'll back to work. Oh, wait. Lucas. Do you have a girlfriend? No. I haven't been in a relationship for a long time. It's actually quite troublesome. Why did you say that? Did you have an unpleasant experience before? No. It's just I find women to be a bit complicated. Being alone is so much better. You can do whatever you want. I see. Do you still keep in touch with your ex-girlfriend? Ex-girlfriend? We broke up several years ago. We haven't been in touch for a long time. Even if we do, we're just friends. What's the matter? Are you trying to introduce me to someone? Well, you said you don't want a relationship. How could I force you? Well, I will get back to work then. Sure, go ahead. Okay. Clara, how did it go? What did he say? He said he didn't keep in touch with his ex. He doesn't seem like he's lying. 
but we still can't let our guard down. How about we have someone watching him for a month? If he truly has no contact with Sally for a month, he's telling the truth. Oh, wouldn't he be mad if he finds out we're tracking him? He had a relationship with Sally, and she's so vicious. As the saying goes, don't have ill intention towards others. But don't forget to guard against them either. True. Who should we send to keep an eye on him? How about me? Since he's in the office during the day, I only need to watch him at night. Will that be too tiring for you? I have nothing better to do. You do you like him? No, not at all. I just want to know if he's really in touch with Sally. All right. You keep an eye on him then. Be careful not to get caught. I'll make sure to get the job done. Boss. William, yes? What should I do to make my son like me? Boss, I don't have a son. I have no idea about how to interact with kids. You don't have a son. Aren't you a son yourself? Well, how did your dad usually treat you? My dad didn't really care about me. It was my mom who would take care of me when I was a child. Well, I can't be like your father. I need to spend more time with Ethan. Boss, how about bring him to the company when you have time? Last time, he hacked our company's network, right? You can take him to the tech department. Let those guys see that they can even compare to a five-year-old kid. That makes sense. Let's go with that. Ethan. Mr. Addison, why are you back at this hour? Can I come back now? I... I didn't prepare your lunch today. That won't eat. Please don't say that. If you want to have it, I can prepare it for you now. It's fine. Has Ethan eaten yet? He just finished his meal. You're here to see Ethan, aren't you? Yes. I'm taking him to my company. Oh, telling me won't help. You should talk to Clara about it. Ethan is my child too. I have every right to take him out. You're right. But only if Ethan's willing to go out with you, right? I have my ways to take him out with me. Mr. Lawrence, who is coming for a meeting with us? Didn't he mention it during the last meeting? He said it's someone really influential. I want to know his name. There are only a few big shots in our circle. <coughs> it's the hacker who hacked our company last time. What? That hacker? How dare he come to our company? Damn it! Last time because of him, we got to scold it badly. I'm going to kick his ass this time. When he arrives, let's close the door and give him a good thrashing. All right, we'll do it together. If anything happens, we'll uh, take the blame together. Come down. We are now in society governed by law, right? Yeah, society governed by law. How dare he head into our network? Why hasn't he been arrested yet? He even dares to come to our company. If the law can't punish him, we'll teach him the lessons ourselves. Uh, Ethan, you're here. Hey, where did this spread come from? Do you know what place is this? Get out of here! Hey! How dare you glare at me? You have some nerve, huh? What are you doing? Mr. Lawrence, we have to get him out of here. We have a meeting, right? Boss! Boss. What's the commotion? Boss, the kid must be some idiot's child. He just wandered into our meeting room. We need to kick him out. You are the idiot here. Boss, why are you scolding me? Bernard invited me here. I'm the hacker. What? This kid is the top knock hacker. That's terrifying. I've only been working for two years. It feels like my career is over. Am I dreaming? It hurts. You punk. Do you know what a hacker is? That hacker was impressive. Do you still need me to? Call your parents quickly, or I will. Well, I'm his dad. Boss, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't know that the spread. 
I didn't know he was your son. I'm sorry, boss. Apologize to my son. Young Mr. Addison, please forgive me. I'm sorry, young Mr. Addison. A talented kid like you is definitely not an average kid. I didn't know what I was talking about. Please don't be angry. Young Mr. Addison, you hacked our company's network before. You were so smart. You're so talented. From now on, you are my idol. Can you please sign for me? Let's go. Ethan, mommy's home. Have you eaten yet? Clara, shh. Ethan is asleep. Come. So early? Yeah. What did you guys do today? I took him to the company. Those guys in the office were extremely fond of him. They showed him around the building. You know it yourself. My company is huge. In just one afternoon, Ethan had worked about twenty thousand steps, and he slept as soon as he reached home. Are you doing it on purpose? No, I didn't. I was there with him the entire time. I'm exhausted too. How did you convince Ethan to go to your office? I praised and flattered him. I told him that everyone in the company liked him, so he went to the company with me. Who would have thought Ethan would fall for that? That only means Ethan is a normal kid. That's good. Whenever you're free, take him out more often. No problem. But despite Ethan not being talkative. I think he sways smarter than other kids. I'm thinking of signing him up for a genius program and let him have a try. Okay, but you should talk to him first. Of course. Didn't you say you're tired? Go take a bath and have some rest. <coughs> Where am I staying? The guest room, of course. Were you thinking of sleeping in my room? Can't I dream about it? Seriously, Bernard, you're asking too much. Aside from having a child together, we have nothing to do with each other. Get it? Clara, have you ever thought of? Forming a complete family for Ethan. Today, when I was out with him, he actually let me hold his hand. Really? He did hold your hand. Of course. Not only that, he even let me hug him. I really didn't expect you to be able to win his heart so quickly. Clara, I really want to take care of both you and Ethan. Are you willing to give me a chance? I'll think about it. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. I need to talk to Ethan first. After all, this is not a small matter. I need Ethan's agreement on this. Ethan. So. You worried about what Ethan thinks? We removed Ethan from the equation. Are you actually willing to be with me? Is that right? I didn't. You say you were tired. You should get some rest first. Go. Go. Hello, Sharon. Is there anything you're looking for me? Clara, Bernard was right. Lucas is untrustworthy. He's meeting up with Zaily in the restaurant. 
I wonder what they are discussing about. Look at her; she's so happy. It seems like they're very close. So Lucas was lying to me this morning. I never thought he would be such a person. Should I expose his true colors? No. After all, I've never handed any core technologies to him yet. Even if he wants to double cross me, there's nothing he can do about it. So, what's your plan? Let's not alert them first. He's here because of Ethan. He's very close to him. Let me see if there's any way I could do to make him believe himself. Fine. This guy got lucky. Okay. You should go back first. It's getting late. There's no need to waste your time. Okay. Bernard, why am I missing you so much lately? Perhaps I too have fallen in love with you. I met up with Lucas last night. He had promised to steal the chip of Gold City Group and hand it to me. <laughs> really? Did he see when he will steal it? Also, how much is he demanding? We didn't get into details, but I think he just wants to help me. After all, we were once a couple. Zaddy, you're really awesome. Once we have the chief, we will be able to surprise the Guild City Group. Why then? We'll start a whole new company and have all their employees to ourselves. Let's finish her. <laughs> That's a great idea. Let's use Clara thoroughly. Let's finish her. Cheers. Miss Cameron. Miss Cameron. What did you stab on me? You know clearly what you have done. What is it? You said clearly. Still putting up an act? If it weren't for Clara, I would have beaten you up badly. Sharon, are you nuts? I'm here for Miss Alexandra. The clones she bought for me were a little oversized. I'm here to return them. There's no need for that. Just throw them away. If we knew you were such a bad person, we wouldn't even buy you clothes. Wait, there must be misunderstanding. Why don't we talk about it outside? No. Let's clear up the confusion. <laughs> Are you alright? I didn't mean to do that. Are you okay? You're bleeding. <clears throat> Let's take you to the hospital. I'm sorry. Wait. Let's go in the ambulance. I'm feeling dizzy. Okay. Hello? Yes, we're now at. Hello, Sharon. Clara, I just heard Lucas. What happened? Did you two get into a fight? It's not a first brawl, exactly. I beat him up one-sided. Is it because of yesterday? Didn't I say not to raise their alert? I couldn't control myself. I got angry at the sight of him, but he's still pretending. He asked me why I had beaten him up, and I haven't told him anything yet. Okay, don't worry. I'll go to the hospital now. It's fine. It's okay. There's a minor concussion at most. It's fine. I'll keep me company. I'll give you a call just to inform you. Okay. Yeah. Eh. Hey, stop walking around. You're making me dizzy. Why won't you just fight? Why can't you be a good guy? You just have to be a lapdog, do you? Eh. Hey, since when did I become a lapdog? Did I offend you or something? Wronging Clara means wronging me. Since when did I wrong her? Stop your acts! You met up with Zaylee last night. I saw it all. We also investigated you. You guys were once a couple. You're both working together. Is it all because of that? Do you have a history with Zaylee? No one has never told me about that. Even if you have never heard about it, Zaylee must have told you about something. I did promise her something. See, you admitted it. Eh? Don't jump to conclusions. Think about it. Even if I did make Zaddy a promise, I wouldn't betray Clara, right? Besides, Ethan and I are friends. How can I do something that will ruin our relationship? What did you promise her? I promised her the chip. You. 
Are you staying with Clara now? Yeah, me, Clara, and our kid Ethan. He's at home now. Oh, that's good. All right. Do you want me to call Clara and ask her to come back? Oh no, I don't want to bother her. Recently, something happened in her company. I suppose she's very occupied now. I'm worried about her. But there's nothing I can do to help. Don't worry. If she runs into any troubles, I will help her. Thank you. Clara and you are indeed fated. Six years ago, she married you because of your body condition. You guys didn't even have a proper wedding that time. Yeah. That's why. I will give her a grand and proper red this time. All right, let's head inside first. I want to meet my grandson. Okay, let's go. Ethan, Ethan, she's your grandma. Come on, greet her. Ethan, I'm your grandmother. I didn't realize you've grown up so much. I want to call my mom. Ethan, your mom is busy right now. Let's not bother her, okay? Bernard, call Clara. Otherwise, Ethan won't be happy. Go now. You're excellent. How did you make it look like this? Hello? Clara, I picked up your mom. We are at your house now. Are you busy? If you're not so busy, I'd like you to come back first. I think Ethan is a bit upset. Bernard, how did you find my mom? Look, this is a big deal. Why didn't you discuss it with me first? It's easy to find someone here nowadays. I'm afraid you wouldn't agree if I told you first. Besides, we're living together now. It's better to tell you, mom. Okay, fine. I'll be right back. Mom! Clara! Ethan, don't be afraid. She's your grandma. I was going to take you to visit grandma, but I didn't realize your dad brought her back. Mom! I'm sorry, I didn't tell you anything about Ethan. Bernard told me about Ethan. I don't blame you. But about you and Bernard, you shouldn't have kept it from me. Oh, Clara. Mom, we've just gotten along better recently. I didn't expect him to be so anxious. He even caught you here. That means he cares about you. I think he's sincere to you. Of course, my opinion doesn't matter. What do you think is important? Yes, I understand. I'll definitely tell you when I decide to marry him. Good. What about you? Don't you have anything to say to me? <clears throat> I do have something to say to you. In a couple of days, my parents are coming back. I want to take you to meet them when they're back. I haven't agreed to marry you yet. Yet you're in such a hurry. Even if we don't get married, we have to meet our parents. We have to tell them about Ethan, right? Clara. Bernard is right. When his parents come back, we'll meet them and have dinner together. Okay? Okay. Then you'll stay here for these days, okay? Sure. Come over. Here. What Bernard wanted came into my hand so easily. <laughs> Hey, Kenny. I've got a chip. That was quick. Uh-huh. Lucas was beaten up. He gave me the chip in a fit of rage. <laughs> That's great. We'll be able to set our company soon. My dad said with this chip, we'll be able to get a lot of investments. We won't even have to pay for our own business. Your dad is right. Hey, why don't we organize an investor conference tomorrow? 
We'll take the investment from the highest bidder. That's a great idea. You organize it. I'll ask my dad to help me contact those big bosses. Okay. How can Clara be our match when the two of us work together? Bernard always looked down at me. This time, I'm going to make a career out of it. I'm going to impress him. Clara, Zaidi declared to the public that she has mastered the chip technology of Gold City Group. She plans to hold an investor conference today to raise the investment publicly. How did she master the company's technology? Lucas didn't have access to the company's core technology. Lucas gave her a fake chip. It's my fault for not asking in advance. I even beat him up. Huh? Isn't he afraid that Zaili will get in trouble? Don't worry. He recorded everything Zaili said to him, including getting him to steal the chip and all the abusive comments about you. If things escalated, Zaili will be humiliated herself. Zaili is really shameless. By the way, how's Lucas? I'll go visit him. <sighs> He's so good now. The doctor allows him to leave the hospital after this morning's checkup. That's why I came back to work. That's great. Sharon, it was your fault beating him up. Let's visit him together tonight. I apologized to him as soon as he told me that chip he gave to Zaili was fake. He has already forgiven me. Surprisingly, Lucas has a good temper. You better treasure it. I'll try my best. Despite causing him hospitalized, he didn't blame me at all. It's the first time I've seen a guy with such a good temper. You've hit the jackpot in fate. <sighs> I'm just not sure if he likes me. How about you and Bernard? His parents just came back from overseas tonight. We will meet each other's parents tomorrow. Your relationship with him is developing real fast. Soon after meeting both parents, you guys can tie the knot. When you guys get married, I must be the bridesmaid. No problem. Anchor Morgan, cheers. Zeddy, your dad is my friend, and now that you are starting a business, surely I will support. For the first round, I invest 20 million. What do you think? I'm investing 30 million. Zeddy, you know my capability. Money is all I have. Uncle Robert, I know that you're rich, but Uncle Morgan has a close relationship with my dad. How about both of you invest together? Each of you invest 10 million for me? Great. Great. Then we'll, then we'll invest, invest, together. invest together. Hey, thank you so much, Ankos. Here for our collaboration. Cheers. 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 Zeddy. We have already signed the contract. Now it is time to show us the data inside the chip. I may not grab all the techie stuff, but I have heard this mind blowing. So I'd love to have a first hand witness. Sure, I'll let you have a look now. Hmm, just hold a second. Let me make a quick call to the R&D department. We can take a look once I get the password. Hello, Lucas. The chip you gave me requires a password. What's the password? Listen carefully. I am only see this once. 222 222. Alright, got it. Don't hang up yet. Let me try the password. Why is there a big ape in the chip? Yeah, why is it an ape? Are you kidding us? Uncles, uh, please stay calm. Let me come from with the R&D department. <sighs> Lucas, why is there a video of ape in the chip you gave me? What's going on? Didn't you ask me for the chip? I gave you the chip. The chip I made with an ape video in it. What's the problem? You bastard, you fooled me! Zeddy, I never thought you this flaky. There will be no more investors in the future. What the fuck? I've never been fooled like this. Wasted my time. Eh? Uncles! <coughs> Don't cry, Zeddy. Get the hell out! I don't want to see you anymore! Get lost! <sighs> oh. 
Hey, come on. Cheers, everyone. From Noah and Will family. Cheers. Cheers. Dad, Clara hasn't agreed to marry me yet. Huh? What's going on? Heh. <laughs> you don't know how to work, girl. Do you need some tips from me? Bernard, I agree to marry you. <laughs> Great. Cheers to that. Cheers. 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 Let's cheer for that, my dear in law. Ethan, Mama agreed. Yeah.